On October 29th, 2012, the Virgin Islands Autism Center opened its doors to provide services to persons with autism in the Virgin Islands. Autism, or Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, refers to a range of conditions categorized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, speech and nonverbal communication, as well as by unique strengths and differences. Services include initial screening for Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, diagnosis of ASD, developmental therapy, including fine and gross motor skills, social skills, communication skills, and cognitive skills, independent living skills for adult clients, training for parents, teachers, and caregivers, education and awareness, and advocating for persons with autism and other disabilities. During the past five years, 130 clients came through our doors seeking advice or services. Initial screening indicated that many did not require further screening for ASD, but had other challenges, some of which we were able to address. Some simply needed advice on working with their children or were referred to other agencies for assistance. 67 clients received scheduled services. 64 students were hosted during 13 camps that were held since summer 2013. How it got started. In 2009, Ms. Cassandra Percival relocated to the United Kingdom to seek better services for her 31-year-old son, Yuklan, who was diagnosed with autism. Her search led to the Kingwood Trust, one of the leading organizations in the UK, providing services for persons with ASD. Kingwood Trust expressed an interest in helping others in the territory with ASD. Representatives from Kingwood Trust visited the Virgin Islands in November 2009 and met with stakeholders and conducted preliminary assessments of potential clients. It was decided that a program was needed and the quest was on for a funding agency to help start a pilot project. The Maria Holder Memorial Trust, a charitable organization in Barbados, expressed an interest in funding the project and confirmed that promise with a contract signing in April 2012 between the Government of the Virgin Islands and Maria Holder Memorial Trust who would fund the establishment of the program and Kingwood Trust who would provide the specialist support and training. The Government of the Virgin Islands, through the Ministry of Health and Social Development, funded the retrofitting and furnishing of the top floor of the Rainbow Children's Home to house the center. They further committed to continued funding of the program to ensure its longevity. Various stakeholders, including professionals, parents, clients, and representatives from service clubs, were involved in planning the start of the center. Staff was recruited and they, along with other professionals, were trained to provide initial screening while two professionals were certified to complete diagnosis. On October 29, 2012, the Autism Center was officially opened. Our first year. The Lower Estate community embraced the center and we would especially like to acknowledge the following for everything that they did, big or small, to help us to reach where we are today. Rainbow's Children's Home, Egbert Lavicia, Norbert Smith, Charlene Smith, Charmaine Smith, Dean Simmons, Mikhail Howe, Ulrich Scatliff, Reverend Dr. Wayne Hoyt, Ramon Sprav, Renrick Massac, Bruley Superet, Michael Herbert and crew, manager and staff of Sphinx Bakery, and staff at Happy Lion Restaurant. Resources were not in place when clients started coming, so staff, their families, and other individuals contributed resources. These persons include Lorna Dawson, Margo Walters, Ashlyn Amory, Jillian Niles John, Asha Peters, Shanira Perry, Chike Igwe, Keisha Dawson, Caleb Dawson, Tania Christopher, Joshua Lawrence, and Natasha Julius. Or staff. The center is staffed by a program director, a special education teacher, three program aides, 
a senior executive officer, and a part-time cleaner. In addition to the appointed staff, we have had substitutes and persons on job rotation. We also welcomed new staff as some staff moved on to further their studies or to new job opportunities. Working with our clients. Our work with clients take place at the center, in the client's schools and in their homes. Our volunteers and helpers. We have had many volunteers and helpers during the past five years, especially during our vacation camps. Some were fulfilling community hours for their schools, some were on job placements for their schools, some freely give of their time just because. Our donors. We salute all those persons who have contributed to our growth and development for the past five years, thus enhancing the services that we provide. Resources, cash, time, transportation, big or small, we thank you for them all. We created awareness. We made appearances on radio and television talk shows such as Passions, A Look at the Community, GIS Radio Report, and JTV's Spotlight. Additionally, we produced PSAs, information was shared via Zerod and ZBVI's Almanac. There were awareness marches, fun days, distribution of brochures, sale of pins and campaigns such as or lighted up blue campaign. Presentations were done for primary and secondary schools, PTA meetings, churches, government departments and various clubs. We collaborated with organizations to create awareness, social development, family, children and protective services unit, Department of Agriculture's Girls Guide, BVI SDA Churches, Tortola Ladies Club, Lions Club, BVI Health Services, BVI Farmers on the Move, Tortola Rose Rack, and the Department of Education's Early Childhood Unit. We trained. Training was provided for various organizations and schools. Education Department, Professional Development Days for Teachers, St. George's Primary School, St. George's Secondary School, Rotaract Club and Civil Registry, DND Learning Center, Wendell Potter, First Impressions Child Care Center, Eslin Henley Richie's Learning Center, Simmons Preschool. We were trained. We kept abreast with developments in the field of autism and other disabilities by embracing as many training opportunities as we could. We celebrated. Lenford Pope, one of our adult clients, was awarded Employee of the Month at Bitter End Yacht Club. Two of our clients have been awarded scholarships to attend Vanguard School in Florida, Shamori Palmer and Terrell Harrigan. One of our clients, Kenden Ortiz, received the Reading Council's Literacy Award. We were one of the first two organizations in the BVI to be sponsored by a hotel for a Pack for a Purpose program. Program Director Lorna Dawson became a Paul Harris Fellow. We received a brand new vehicle from the Rotary Club of the BVI with support from the following. An anonymous member of the Rotary Club of Tortola, Kurt and Nancy Richardson, Guana Island Fund, John and Jill Maynard, Najiko, O'Neill Webster, and Sir Richard Branson. We were appreciated. We supported our client schools. We welcomed many visitors.
or transition. In 2015, Social Development Department was restructured and the Autism Center became a part of the new Disability Services Unit. This unit comprises the Early Intervention Program, BVI Services, a day program for adults with disabilities, and the Autism Center. Services were expanded to include other disabilities and early intervention and the scope of our awareness activities widened to include International Day for Persons with Disabilities, World Down Syndrome Awareness Day, Cerebral Palsy Awareness in collaboration with Karen Alexander. Our Camps and Awareness Fund Days. Camps were held to provide an all-day fun learning environment for our clients as well as to provide an opportunity for children with and without disabilities to interact and learn to appreciate and accept each other. Awareness marches culminating with fun days have been the highlight of our Easter camps. Many individuals and organizations supported our camps and fundies. Irma. Hurricane Irma took our roof and damaged or destroyed a lot of our resources, including our vehicle. After Irma, the British Army, Public Works Department, Department of Waste Management, Rainbow Children's Home, Michael Herbert and crew, as well as Sadwise Limited. Our records are in disarray, so we may have missed a name or two, but know that it is not intentional. We at the BVI Autism Center are deeply grateful to everyone who has in any way contributed to our being able to fulfill our mandate and help to make our first five years successful. We have been displaced, but not erased. We will work until we get back our space.